Please help me, somebody call the firefighters. Somebody needs to come and put this fire out. Hello there, today we're going to learn the phrasal verb to put out. You probably know the traditional meaning of the verb to put, which means to place, correct? However, if we add a preposition such as out, we'll get different meanings and they will depend upon the context. To put out, this is what we're going to learn today. The first meaning that I want to teach you is to extinguish. We can put out a fire, we can put out the lights, we can put out a cigarette, well, the sky is the limit. We can light it up, 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 so they can put it out, out, out. Now we're going to learn the expression to be put out, which means to irritate someone, to annoy someone. There's also this very interesting expression, which is to get under somebody's skin. So there's this guy the other day, he was chewing and he knew that he was pushing my buttons, irritating me, annoying me, getting under my skin. But because I'm so zen, no. I decided to turn it the other cheek and I wasn't put out by his bad manners. So don't forget, to be put out means to get upset, irritated, all right? All right. Last but not least, there's also an interesting idiom, which is to put the word out. When you want to tell people a new piece of news, you just say, put the word out. Put the word out to all assets. I want you to put the word out. Chief Wiggum is here to clean up this crime. If you guys really enjoyed watching this video, make sure that you put the word out. That Dexport Academy is the place for your English to really take off. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Please, somebody call the firefighters. <laughs>